the pit. To have another pass the pit. Papa. Gonna mix up some, um, oops, not you. Quinacridone burnt orange. Before I do that, let me get a nice clean spot in my palette. I wanna make some yellow and quinacridone burnt orange. To get that gold. And then I'm going to mostly shift to a, for the pit, try to shift to a, a really just straight, um, straight burnt orange. I may, um, I may even darken it down a little bit with some, uh, some indigo. So I just want this whole pit sort of stronger and more looking like a pit. I, um, that's a pretty, um, that's a medium value, value. so I don't want to go right in with that color because um, I do want this top part to, to stay kind of the, uh, the value and color that it mostly is. I want to make sure I don't lose that light part of the of the rounded form. That's so easy to do. Um, and then as I continue to wet the shape is when I'm going to bring in this color. And I'm actually now going to... Um, so I'm sort of mixing on the fly. which if you keep practicing and understand how quickly things dry and how much strong pigment you need or which paint will become easier and easier. Even go, I'm even sort of going to go around that. I'm not doing the, uh, am I? I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the reflected light. I, this is just water right now. I don't think that shape is sort of well defined enough. And see how this uh, that gold color is kind of trying to sneak back up into where I I wanted it. Still a little bit lighter. So I, I'm doing that adjusting thing, which I think we practice just sort of this going back and forth between getting a little bit darker with a little bit more paint. If it gets too dark, bring in a little bit of clear water and move the things around a little bit. Um, you'll still have to deal with, if you, if you want a, a clean transition, Rewetting the whole shape again. I'm gonna, it's pretty wet, and I'm just kind of dropping in some really strong quinacridone burnt orange. I'm gonna, um, just to say that I did. I'm going to try to drop it in a little bit in a way that would create the impression of a little bit of that reflected light. I really liked... I'm using a sponge. Using a sponge. Making a sponge. I thought Teresa's was really cool. And it was a watercolor bloom sort of thing, which I should be so brave.
this is pretty much just straight. Quinn burnt orange, Oops. Um, buttery. I think I need to add one more term to my watery, juicy, creamy lexicon. I'm so focused in on it, it's, it's, it's good to lean back and kind of check it out. I've been sort of introducing color, wet color here and there. I can tell it's probably going to dry with a little bit um, uh, less graduated than I want, but I've been fussing with it so much I'm ready for a break and if it's something I feel strongly about, if that ends up being just sort of too too much of a stripe, I can come back and, and soften it and adjust a little bit.